Phi Kappa Pi was founded in 1906 at the Crane School of Music under the name Pi Delta Sigma. Our members included the membership of two literary societies, the Alpha Literary Society and the Calliope Literary Society, and for a number of years we were the only sorority on campus. The societies themselves did decide to go off and create their own sororities, but Pi Delta Sigma remained. Eventually, in 1928, we affiliated with the Clionian fraternity at the Geneseo Normal School, adopting their name Clio in their letters Phi Kappa Pi, and we were the Kappa chapter. In 1953, due to a decree by the State University of New York, we were forced to sever our connections with Clio, but we kept the letters Phi Kappa Pi and rebranded ourselves as Phi K. Phi K resides at 58 Elm Street, which is just a few blocks away from campus, and we live by the principles of loyalty, trust, and respect. Phi K symbol is the daisy, and the petals represent individuality, with each sister being their own unique person, and the flower represents us coming together as a sisterhood. We're so excited to have you guys uh, being part of Formal Rush this semester, and we hope you find your home, whether it be here at 58 Elm or at one of the other five wonderful houses here in Potsdam. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jaylene, I go by Jaylene, and my pronouns are her, she, and hers. I am from Highland, New York, and I go to SUNY Potsdam. I pledged Spring 2019, and I am an International Studies major and a Spanish major with a Latinx and Latin American Studies minor, which is a lot, <laughs> which is a big mouthful. Um, I joined 5K because my, um, my pledge sister, Leslie, she brought me out to one of the Rush events, and I just kind of really liked it from then on, and I just like continued going, so that was pretty cool. And something that I like to do on my free time is look at avatar memes. Um, a piece of advice for rushes is to be open about other houses, you know, go to everyone else's like rush events, and just talk to everyone because like, communicating is key and everything, so yeah. Hi, I'm Catherine, but I go by Katie, and I use she, her, hers pronouns. I am from Fayetteville, New York, which is just outside of Syracuse, and I'm a student at SUNY Potsdam where I study early childhood education with a specialization in English. I pledged Phi K in fall 2019, and I chose Phi K because the first time that I met these girls, I felt like I could be completely myself, which is something I always not had a problem with, but I was always very reserved and shy, but around these girls I felt comfortable instantly and I felt like I could be myself. Um, things I like to do in my free time, I really like singing. I used to be a student at Crane, so music was a big part of my life and I try and keep it as much as I can. I also like things like baking, sewing, I like calligraphy, lots of artistic type things. Um, advice that I have for rushes is to be yourself. So I know a lot of people when they come to college they want to reinvent themselves or make a new life for themselves and that is totally great, but you are who you are you can't really change that and go to the house where you feel most accepted and you feel like you can be yourself there are six amazing houses here so please try and go to events for all of them because you never know which one may end up being your home i rushed multiple houses and they were all great but something really just clicked in 5k and i knew that this is where i should be this is where i felt welcome and it felt genuine and i felt like i could be myself no matter what and that's the whole point of what rushing is. So you should go where you feel you can be your most genuine self, not where others want you to go. Hi, my name is Andrea Pelopaw. Um, I go by she, her pronouns. I'm from Staten Island, New York. Um, I go to SUNY Potsdam. My major is dance and exercise science um, with the concentration in pre-professional. Uh, I pledged 5K in fall 2019. And the reason why I picked 5K um, I joined Phi K because there was a community and I realized like the minute that like I stepped into Phi K that I wanted to be a part of it. I enjoyed the fact that everyone was so close with each other and that there was a lot of communication and just sisterly bond without like, you know, you being blood sisters. Um, I like to dance, sleep, and eat. Um, a little advice for the rushes is always keep an open mind and um, just never forget who you are. Hi guys, my name is Caitlin. I go by Kate or KDB now that we have so many Caitlins and Kates in this house. Um, I use the pronoun she or her and my hometown is Albany, New York. Uh, I go to Clarkson University. I'm studying psychology and humanities and I have a minor in literature. Um, I pledged spring 2019. Uh, I joined 5K 
I would say more so that um, I wasn't looking really to join a Greek house. I just had met some of the sisters through mutual friends and it just ended up working and clicking and then I started rushing. So it wasn't even like I was kind of necessarily looking to join a Greek house. It was more so I had just been in here and it found me. Um, something I like doing in my free time. I like to read a lot, surprisingly. Not many people know that because I come off as like I don't read sometimes. <laughs> a piece of advice for rushes would probably be uh, don't be afraid to rush other houses too. Um, just because I found my fit on my first try doesn't mean that it's the same for everybody else. So I would definitely recommend going and talking to other people, feeling out different vibes, and making sure that you find your best home because everyone deserves that. Hi, my name is Lizzie Zamora. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. I'm from the Bronx, New York. Um, I go to SUNY Potsdam. My major is early child education and my minor is in history. Um, I pledged 5K in spring 2019. I joined 5K because from the very first rush event, I felt like I was home and um, I didn't have like to rush any other house to know that. Um, I like to watch Netflix on my free time. I'm currently watching The Vampire Diaries for the fourth time in my life. So, you know, there's that. Um, a piece of advice I would give to rush is to really rush different houses and really get to know the sisters because like you really want to find your forever home. Hi, I'm Brittany and my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm from South Lums Falls, New York. I go to SUNY Potsdam. I'm an anthropology major with a women and gender studies minor. I pledged spring 2019. Um, I joined 5K because they felt like family to me and it turned out I was right. Um, in my free time, I just like to listen to good music and bother my pledge sisters. Um, my best advice for rushes is to check out all houses and honestly listen to yourself because we all just want you to find your forever home. Hey guys, I'm Brianna, but I go by Brie. I use she, her, her pronouns. I'm from Grahamsville, New York, which is a tiny town in the middle of Sullivan County. It's in the Hudson Valley, about five hours away from here. I go to SUNY Potsdam and I major in the visual arts, but I have a concentration in art education and a minor in graphic design and new media. I joined 5K spring 2020 and I ended up choosing 5K because of the people that were in it really. I was somebody who was really, really torn between two different houses when I was rushing and my pledge class and the girls that I had gotten to meet were really what pushed me to join 5K. Something that I like to do in my free time, well, there are three main things that I do. One, I like gardening. Plants are one of my favorite things. They give me much happiness. Two, I really like playing video games. And three, I really like laughing at memes that nobody else would find funny, but I enjoy them personally. So it is what it is. My biggest piece of advice for rushes would be to not be afraid to be really goofy. The girls that you join a sorority with are girls that are going to see you at your most comfortable state, sweatpants, hair up in a messy bun. As cliche as it may sound, you have to be comfortable with the girls that you're going to be living in the house with or not living in the house with, just being around. But overall, just really just be yourself, be goofy and have fun with rushing. Hi, my name is Caitlin, but I go by Katie. My, I use she, her pronouns and my hometown is Webster, New York. I am a student at SUNY Potsdam and I'm an early childhood education major with a concentration in English. My, my pledge class is <laughs> spring 2020 and I went 5K because as soon as I walked in the door, I felt really at home here. Um, my free time, I like to hang out with my sisters, watch Netflix, and then advice for rushes, I just wanted to let you guys know that like no matter what house you go to you always have like we'll always support you for that like we'll never hold that against you like it this is your decision you need to find your own home and if that if it's not with 5k we understand but we just wanted to let you know that we would still support you wherever you go uh hi my name is Carlos, but i go by corey my pronoun my pronouns are she her I'm from the Bronx. I go to SUNY Potsdam. Uh, I'm a biochemistry major with a biology minor. Um, I pledged spring 2020. Um, I joined 5K because I was interested in being a, in being a sorority. And um, I actually found the right house. And um, what 
I like to do in my free time is either read or watch anime. And a piece of advice for the rushes would be trust your gut, because <laughs> you're usually right. <laughs> Hi, my name is Destiny. My pronouns are she and her. I am from New York City. I go to SUNY Potsdam. I am a business administration major with minors in music business and Spanish. I pledged in spring 2020. The reason I joined FlyK was I haven't had a lot of great female relationships and I wanted to make bonds with people that would last a lifetime. I like to sing in my free time and the advice I would give to the rushes is not to be afraid to be yourself. Hi everybody, my name is Julissa Michelle. I go by she, her, those are my pronouns. I am from Portchester, New York. Um, I go to SUNY Potsdam. I am a psychology major with a Spanish minor and I pledge 5K spring 2020. Um, I went to 5K because it's a place where I felt like I was going to truly be the happiest. I felt like I could connect with each and every sister of the house as well as the people I was rushing with. And it just, it always felt right in my spirit. Uh, I like, for fun, I like to draw, I like to um, do photography, paint, my makeup, those are, like anything arts related, music wise, all of that, I, those are all the fun things I like to do. And yeah. What advice I would give to Rush is be true to yourself. Um, don't make your decision based off of outside influences. Make sure that this is something that comes truly within your heart and that you know that you feel safe and comfortable being your true self in front of people. Because at the end of the day, everybody just wants you to be happy because rushing is about you, not about the house. We, as a community, are all going to be like, to, like we're all going to be close together. So you might as well go where you feel like you could be your true happiest self. So. Hi, my name is Kat Pierce. I go by she, her pronouns. I am from the Utica area, New York. Um, I go to SUNY Potsdam slash the Crane School of Music and am a music education major. I pledged Phi Kappa Pi in spring 2020. And I went Phi Kappa Pi because when I decided to rush, I was a music major and I was only doing music things and I was like, man, I really need to just not do music things all the time. <laughs> so I found by Kay and I got to meet everybody and the second that I pulled up to their first rush event, it felt like home. Like there was no like awkward small talk, there was no like the conversation didn't stop. We just constantly talked and constantly vibe and I was like, yeah, these are my people. <laughs> um, what I like to do in my free time, well, I like to dye my hair, um, <laughs> but I also like to play video games, um, specifically like Nintendo, I don't know. Um, and my advice for the rushes is that really take your time and weigh your options and go visit every house and see what's out there. Like don't close yourself off to options just because you feel like at the time that's the right thing to do because no matter where you go, you will be loved. Hello. My name is Miranda, my pronouns are she and her. I'm from Valley Stream on Long Island and I go to SUNY Potsdam where I major in music ed and music theory. Um, I pledged 5K in spring 2020 and I went 5K because I felt like it was a place where I could just really be myself and I love it here. One thing I like to do in my free time is sew letters for both me and my sisters. Just recently I pledged a shirt for each of my seven pledge sisters and my PM and they all really loved it and that made me happy. And one piece of advice I'd have for people who are rushing is to just be yourself. It sounds very cheesy, but it's true. Once you find a place where you can be yourself, you'll know it's home. Hi, um, I'm Samantha Mangino, but I usually go by Sam, and my pronouns are she and her, and my I'm from Rochester, New York, and I go to SUNY Potsdam. My major is history education, and my pledge class is spring 2020, and the reason why I went to 5K is because as soon as I met 5K, I just knew that I belonged here and it was my home. Um, and I usually like to do cooking, baking and stuff. I made veggie alfredo the other night. My advice for rushes is that um, to keep an open mind and go to every house and you know you will just know you will have an aha moment no matter what time it is you'll just know what kind of house you would like to go to and just be yourself hi guys 
this is catch hall it's um the first room that you see when you enter by Kappa Pi. um we use this room for our shoes and to stay a little more organized in the winter so we'll keep our hats and scarves here because you know hot stairs <laughs> but um these stairs are actually pretty cool because they're old and they haven't been remodeled and um, our house mom when girls used to like not have boys upstairs like back in the day would stand here and call down to the girls to have them come down and we always say that during the house tours because it's a cute little old fact about the house but um the last thing that we have in this room would be um this bathroom which is actually super cool um here it is <laughs> um it's actually called the harry potter bathroom which is super cool because it's under the stairs and it's you know tiny but yeah that's casual all right, welcome to first. So this is where we keep a lot of the historic stuff in our home. The oldest composites that we have are all located here with the oldest one being our Cavaclio composite from 1931. Along with those, we also have our mailboxes located in this room. And every semester we make a scrapbook just to mem memorialize all of the events that we hold in the house. And all of those are stored in this room as well. A lot of sisters can hang out and study here, and it's just really a nice place to look at the history of the organization that we're all a member of. So this is the second living room. This is a common area where my sisters come and become social ones. And as you can see, we have a couple of composites, and up here on the right of me, we have the most recent composite. Hi guys, and welcome to the party room. This is where we have dinner together, we often spend social time in here, and this is where we do all the studying together. Yeah. Yeah. And also in the room we have lots of our plaques and other things that are important in the sorority. Uh, back there, that big daisy is for our sweethearts. When you sweetheart someone into the house, um, it's usually the next step before marriage, and it's your sharing our letters with the person that you intend to be with. Very special thing, so we have all of our sweethearts and listed up there. And next to it is a crest. And also we have lots of other things in here, like pledge plaques. So this is our most recent pledge pack from the spring 2020 class. Um, as you can see, this is from their actual bid day. And it was painted on by one of their sisters, Bree, from that pledge class. So also on the wall in the party room, we have our pledge plaques. Every pledge class will make a plaque and we'll have it displayed on the wall here. So we have it behind us, right next to our piano, and then over in this wall. Hi, this is the kitchen where we cook meals together. Back in the day, my kid used to have a house mom named Miss D, and she used to do the cooking for us. She lived in the back apartment. Welcome to back apartment. Uh, back apartment is where our house mom, Mrs. D, used to live. So it's pretty common for a lot of Greek houses. They would have a mom who would live in house, kind of keep watch of everything, cook meals clean, that sort of thing, but it is rented out to sisters now. So I live down here and I have my own um, living room, my own bathroom, and my own bedroom. So this is on the back side of the house downstairs. And this is part of my common room right here. I have a couch down here, got some lights. This is some of my 5K wall, and then my TV. So this is the other side of the back apartment. Um, we got my cow tapestry there. Her name is Delilah Lucille. She's holding a daisy. And then this is my roommate. His name is Oliver, but I call him Buggy. Um, he's my emotional support animal, and he's got his little enclosure down here. He's a little camera shy, but... <laughs> so this is my little tiny hallway for back apartment, and right here I have my bathroom. It has a full shower, then toilet sink. It's a really nice setup. This is my bedroom and back apartment. Behind over there I also have a closet, and I have a tapestry. I have some of my 5K stuff over here, and then some of my paddles over here as well. Welcome to room one. <laughs> All right, so this is room one. This is where I live. And um, a few things in here I guess I could show is, this is my son. His name is Mario. Um, he's a beta fish. He's been, you know, with us for like two or so years. He just doesn't, he doesn't eat much. He just kind of vibes. Um, and this is my favorite part of my room. My little canopy, $14 on Amazon. Um, it was really hard to find a black one. Like I think this was the only one I was able to find. So like, here we are, just finding. And this is my five day wall. <laughs> like all of the beautiful stuff that I inherited or had made for me. Probably my favorite wall in my entire room. <laughs> Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Welcome. This is room two. 
two, also known as the President's Room, whenever the President lives in house, um, she gets the choice of this room or any other room of her choice. Uh, currently, I live in here, and as you can see, I kind of decorated it my way. Um, it's very cozy, but yeah, this is room two. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's me again. This here is Jupiter. He's my roommate. He doesn't really like to be held. So, <laughs> down. But um, this is room three. Um, it's probably one of the bigger rooms of the house. Um, yeah. It's got a lot of open space. I like it a lot. It's a lot of good window lighting. Um, something cool about room three is, is it, it is attached to two other rooms. And my plus sisters right now actually live in both of those rooms. So it's super cool because we can go into each other's rooms through one door and yeah. Hi, I'm Brittany from 5K. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> um, this is room four, basically where I sleep. But if you follow me to over here, this right here is called the cave. And a fun fact, it's actually before this was used for a room, there used to be ballet bars in there to practice, so sisters could practice for dance. And um, even though I'm gay, this is my boyfriend, Daryl. And he just hangs out with me. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my crib. Hey, this is the upstairs bathroom. This is where sisters like shower, get ready in the morning. Um, we have Alpha. Beta. And Gamma. And we also have this lovely mirror, which is literally prime selfie mirror right here. <laughs> and that's about it. Hi, so this is room five, and this is a common area of my room. So this is my room. Yeah, and like I have like a whole bunch of banners on my wall. So that's mine. And then that's my mom's, my G mom's, and then by my TV is my 3G's. So Hi, so this is room six. It is the smallest room in the house, but I've made myself at home here. Um, I tried my best to make it as comfortable as possible. I still have a couple things to put up, but it looks good so far. Um, yeah, my favorite thing that I've done is there's a picture uh, frame of me and my little brother TJ next to my bed so every morning I can wake up and see his little face even though he's in home, at home. So yeah, this is room six. Hey guys, welcome to room seven. So this is where I live. So a lot of what I've done is to try to make it really cozy in here. I wanted to make the vibes absolutely immaculate in this room. I worked very hard on it. Right here, this is kind of my memory cork board. I put a lot of time putting different tickets for shows that I've been to, pictures of me with my biological mother or a bunch of my friends from home or of course my 5k sisters and then over on this side of the room where my bed is i have my photo collage wall it took me absolutely forever to get those photos up on the wall and they still like to fall sometimes but everyone is present right now and that's what matters <laughs> but yeah so welcome to my room so one of the benefits about room seven the main reason i chose it was because it has this built-in couch and there's a lot of storage underneath my closet and underneath the couch it's been very useful for packing all of my clothes, especially my letters, which have occupied one side of my closet. Along with that, I have my 5K wall over here. I have the composite from last year that my mom is in. I've got a bunch of different canvases that I've gotten. This one, my pledge sister Miranda made for me. It's super cute and I love it. And then another thing I have, which is really near and dear to me, is this uh, photo frame. I put two pictures of me and my mom, Emma, in it. She graduated last semester, unfortunately but I still have her here with me, so it's really nice. I've also got some plants over here. So yeah, I think I made it pretty cozy and that was room seven. Thank you guys so much for watching our open house video. We really hope to see you at some of our future rush events and hopefully our interest party. And whatever happens, we hope you find your forever home here in the Greek life community at Potsdam. Thank you.